Kia ora and welcome to another week of the Beer Joke Beer of the Week Drink Along. I was about to try and guess how many weeks. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds of weeks. <laughs> hundreds of, of weeks. Uh, of Beer Joke Beers of the Week. We're, yeah. we're not far off 500 weeks actually. Very close, yeah. yeah. Uh, this week we're drinking Black Sands New Zealand Pale Ale. Uh, so this is brewed out in West Auckland by Indeed. our mate Craig. Yeah, and also we should say that you're Joe. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this, eh? Rusty, yeah, like whole seven days. Yeah, we pre-recorded all those ones like months ago. Because we're that organised yeah. uh, that we just had to change of outfit every day, <laughs> like change the weather, move oh, around. Uh, no, sure. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, so yeah, beer from Black Sands. Uh, lovely people out in. Uh, it's called Kelston here in West Auckland. Really. Kelston, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can't go visit them, so. Um, don't visit their tap room. Hopefully one day they'll have their own brew pub and tap room where you can visit them. Um, but if you happen to bump into uh, the Black Sands gang, you're in for a treat because they're nice people. It's, yeah. uh, Craig, who's running the whole operation these days, uh, his dad Ian started it a oh, maybe about ten years ago or coming mm. ten years. Yeah. Uh, and now it's uh, Matt, who's the uh, head brewer there, who's probably one of the younger head brewers around New Zealand. Yeah, I think he's 22. So. And he is. Um, yeah, doing a really good job. Like, um, seems to be really like systems oriented, orientated, really focused. Yeah. Um, and it's coming through in the beers. Mm. Yeah, they're making a lot of changes to their recipes. So yeah. this one, um, Craig has been tweaking. Um, mm. So this was a batch, um, pretty brewed pretty recently, um, and he made a few tweaks. He was yeah. saying, and then the next batch um, is going to be a new recipe. Um, yeah. So he tweaked the process, and now he's going to tweak the recipe. So I suppose uh, Black Sands um, sort of modernizing a lot of their beer, um, trying to sort of hit hit the palates that have changed so much towards kind of lighter, brighter. I think it's a good thing to do, uh, to sort of refresh your core range, reassess things. Um, and yeah, they're always looking at keeping current. Uh, they were a lot of interesting seasonal beers, but yeah, good to look at the core range. So yeah, this, uh, this beer was canned just a few weeks ago, like just in time for us to send out to you guys. So it's really fresh, tasting really good. Uh, but as Joe says, yeah, Craig lets know that it was the um, it was from the last batch before he changed the recipe. So quite fun to try this beer, mm. and I'm looking forward to trying the next one that will be getting canned in the next few weeks, surely. Yeah. So this beer is uh, actually a single hop pale ale. Mm. Um, so it's single hopped with Pacifica hops. So you get a lot of that kind of pithy, slightly burnt orange yep. um, sort of aroma. Um, which goes nicely with the like American ale malt that has a bit more sort of residual kind of sweetness than your classic, well, not classic, uh, but your current sort of common pale ale, which is much more sort of straw colored, um, sort of yellow, almost lagery kind of light base. And especially here in New Zealand, uh, in the last few years, we've seen a real trend towards these just super light bodied pale ales and IPAs, uh, where it's just all it's a yeah, it's just all like the hops, really. Um, but it's nice to have a beer like this, where it is the interplay between the hops and a bit of malt, a bit of crystal flavors. Yeah, Pacifica, really cool hop. Mm. And yeah, it just has that, yeah, like, what did you say? Like crystallized orange? Yeah, like burnt orange. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting that vibe. It's not like orange juicy, it is more like- Yeah, it's that pithy, like, sort of deep kind of orange aroma. Yeah, or like orange, like, flavor boil sweets mm. sort of thing. Um, so yeah, nice uh, autumnal sort of flavors. On yeah. this cool evening at uh, <laughs> BJX Hours. Yeah, I'm trying not to shiver for the video. Yeah, you need a thicker vest for next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, Black Sands um, work with a lot of different artists from West Auckland. So they always do some cool stuff on their cans. Uh, so it's always a bit of a treat to see um, the sort of unique and interesting uh, art they've got on there, which is yeah. cool. Uh, and what else have you got to say Black Sands? Um, like potentially winning awards for how nice Craig is to everyone when he yeah. comes to drop beer off. Yeah, he's like a, he's a very <laughs> fucking nice. Um, he's, uh, he's up for the Lewisham Awards at the moment. Uh, so That's what they are. Give him a vote uh, in there for the um, best hospitality experience or something. Uh, but anyway, another <laughs> really lovely guy, also called Craig, wins it every bloody year. He's a rep for Coca-Cola and Fortune Favours. Lovely bloke. Uh, <laughs> so it'd be nice to see uh, Black Sands Craig 
win it off uh, Fortune Favours Craig this time. So go check him out there. But yeah, <laughs> super nice bloke. You'll always see him at different events, festivals. Uh, he's one of the few brewers that still bothers to do beer launches. Yeah. It's quite a thing in, uh, you know, sort of like 2016, 2017, every weekend there'll be a meet the brewer event or a beer launch. Then you go to Brewers Co op or Vultures or various bars around the place. And, um, yeah, people just stop turning up and stop being excited by the idea of a new beer getting launched because endless new beers are getting launched every single week. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, nice to see. But um, they start putting a little bit of effort into, uh, you know, trying to keep stoke the excitement and the buzz. Yeah, and I suppose it's nice to feel, you know, once the sale's done, he, he hasn't just wiped his hands. You know, he wants people in your venue drinking your beer as a, as a thank you for buying his beer. Yeah. So that's, that's cool. But also for brewers, you know, brewers do put a lot of work and a lot of effort into everything around the beer, and especially when it's a seasonal beer and a one-off release. Uh, from, you know, the, the concept and the artwork and the recipe and just nailing the execution. So it kind of should be a bit of a celebration each new yeah. beer that, that comes out and gets released. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope to see, uh, yeah, it'd be good to see beer launches getting a bit of a comeback. Yeah. Um, Don't see it happening. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, all right. Pretty lovely pale ale. I reckon it's going to be a crowd pleaser. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the kind of beer... 5%, you know, you have a few of them in the fridge and you're pretty happy just reaching for it. Yeah. You know, it's not going to blow your socks off. It's going to go with any type of meal you, you want. Yeah. And yeah, when it's not scorching hot and lagers all you can think about, it's uh, pretty, pretty much an all-rounder, I would say. Yeah, nice and hot forward. Um, when the next batch comes out, we should probably get a keg for the bar to give it a go. Probably should. Yeah. Speaking of kegs for the bar. Yeah. Nanofest. Uh, I don't know if we said the date last week. We said we'd locked in a date. We yeah. might have forgot to say it. When's but the date? It's Saturday 11th of May. Okay. Um, we've locked in the first few kegs. It's looking pretty exciting. Some cool small breweries. Yep. Uh, actually, Craig, you know, the, what are they, a two-man team full-time? Ian, yeah, Ian isn't full-time anymore. Ian sort of gives some advice and things. Yeah. yeah he, he's retired. So, yeah, small little two-man team. Yep. They're definitely nano. And uh, Craig's brewed a pretty special one-off keg um, of a, was it rum and whiskey infused stout? But yeah. they're barrel-aged spirits that he's aged himself in a some kind of fancy turbo uh, He was a ager. bit of a to me, <laughs> and maybe I was not writing something, so I need to like <laughs> properly, fully get yeah. around what it is. But yeah, the keg's already in our chiller, so we're really forward to tasting that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of, well, we do Nanofest every season. It's, uh, so this is an awesome Nanofest. And uh, yeah, 12 amazing, rare, one-off beers. Like this keg, is, is, there's a single keg in existence. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, beers from all around the country. And we've also got uh, Mum's Brew Kitchen is going to be doing some really good burgers again. People love those last time. Like, yeah, that was a hit for uh, Fresh Hop Day, wasn't it? Yeah, like the brisket burgers. Yeah, and I see like every week he's posting on Instagram. He's like, I made more than last week, but I still sold out too, too fast. And he feels bad that people don't yeah. get to try his food. So when he goes to like night markets and stuff. So yeah, if you want to get some of uh, the latest kind of hype food, then uh, come on down, drink some good beer, yeah. eat some barbecue. Yeah, like the mushroom and tofu burgers people are really enjoying. Uh, yeah, people. Our friend uh, DJ Apparel Spritz is going to be spinning some miles again. So all around good times. Uh, and then we've got the following weekend, so the uh, 18th, 18th. Uh, it's going to be the uh, Beach Run Club um, Half Marathon, or 10k if you like it, so uh, check out online for more details about that, but a very, very informal 21k <laughs> run around, uh, around Eden Terrace. <laughs> the beer mile. <laughs> yeah, beer mile will be part of it, definitely, from around uh, Mangapai Volcano, and etc. And then uh, have a whole bunch of beers here afterwards in the afternoon. Um, so, anything else for a pause? Um, oh, we mentioned a couple of weeks ago, um, we're working on uh, increasing the price of the subscription a little bit. So, uh, we'll send you guys some emails about that. You'll uh, hear all about it starting in the next few weeks. Uh, expect that price change coming. Um, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, we haven't increased our price in nine and a half years. Um, so, yeah, we really should. Because uh, beer costs a fortune these days. <laughs> And um, this subscription is only eight dollars per beer, uh, including shipping and everything else. So sorry, uh, but we got to go first. We didn't put our price for a little bit, so uh, we'll have that. Anything else from you? No, nothing from me. Cool. Thank you for joining us. Thanks to Black Sands for making a banging pearl ale. 
We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.